okay you can see it is a separable differential equation and separable differential equations can be solved by separating uh, the variable uh, the functions of x and the function of y so here you can see uh, we have a function of uh, y and we have a function of x I have multiplied dx on the both sides and now uh, you can take integral on the both sides in this way on the left side you will have y and on the right side uh, you will take the uh, integration of sine 5x which will minus cos 5x and this 5 will be uh, you will divide 1 by 5 and okay now dx now you will write plus c and this is your solution for this equation uh, here we have second question of exercise 2.2 in Digizil and we are going to solve this differential equation. It's a separable differential equation and you can separate both functions of x and y and then uh, you have to take integral on the both sides x plus 1 square dx and now you will uh, you will open the square on this side 2x plus 1 dx and on this side you have y and uh, on this side uh, you have to apply this integral on each individual term so you will get x cube by 3 uh, for this term the for the first uh, term which is x square for the second term you will get 2x square divided by 2 and you can cancel this 2 with this 2 and here the last integral of 1 is x so ultimately you will get a y equal to x cube divided by 3 plus x square plus x and plus c which is your answer here we have the third question of exercise 2.2 and this question um, you can move this dx on the other side of the of the equal sign since i want y on the left side of the equation that is y you you will have minus dx on the other side and now uh, you can divide this e raised to power minus 3x on the, bo uh, on, the on the both sides of the equation and you will get dy here and on this side you will have minus 1 by e raised to power 3x dx now take integrals on the both side and you will have y and here you will have minus integral of 1 by e raised to power 3x dx here you can move this e raised to power minus 3x in denominator into numerator and you will have minus 3x dx okay and now you will have minus 1 by 3 e raised to power minus 3x and not dx but you will have a constant of integration here and this completes the theory okay and uh, here you have e raised to power minus 3x plus c equals to y which is your solution okay question 4 uh, you can move this term on the other side you will have y minus 1 square dx 
and now um, you can divide the both sides of the equation with this y minus 1 square in that way you will have y minus 1 square on this side and dy equals to dx now take integral on the both sides okay 1 by y minus 1 square and then dy equals to integral of dx so in that way you will have x plus constant um, since uh, usually we write constant with the with the variable x so that is why uh, because in these in this exercise we are writing constant with x that is why i'm writing constant with this one and on this side you can move the denumerator into numerator and you will have y minus 1 raised to power minus 2 dy and now uh, applying the power rule you will have y minus 1 to power minus 1 divided by minus 1 equals to x plus c and from here you can you can rewrite this term as minus 1 divided by y minus 1 okay not you don't need to have this and from here you will have this so this is your solution uh, fifth question in this question you first of all uh, you have to move this dx on the other side so dx and now I want x on this side and y on this side so I can divide uh, the whole equation with 1 by x y uh, or you can do it like you can divide the whole equation by x and that way you will have 1 by x here dx and then you can divide the whole equation by y in that way you will have 1 by y here dy and uh, you must keep this 4 in this side because I want all the constants with x now if I take integral on both sides 1 by y dy and 4 1 by x dx so you know this 4 is constant and I can take it out of the integral and I will have 4 here and integral of 1 by x here I will have integral of 1 by y dy and dx so both are the reciprocal so that is why you will get natural log of y here and you will get natural log of x here and 4 will uh, be here and here you will have your constant so this is the solution for this equation and I think we are it is good for today that we should the five questions are good for today that is it I hope you will like it thank you